Welcome to the lounge and the soft commodities report starting with uh, cocoa on the daily chart here. Um, right, so we're looking at uh, wave two being in place here uh, of intermediate degree. Then we're looking at wave one of minor degree, ABC back for two as uh, minor degree wave two. So we're into wave three here of minor degree and also intermediate degree as well. So we should see this continue to push up quite strongly through these levels. And um, yeah, we can be looking up at uh, at this next level here at uh, 4,000. Um, it's always nice to find support on 3,300 because that's the top of group one and a nice solid tested support on that level um, would uh, well help give us a bit of confidence in, in the leg up uh, here. And of course, 34 is always important too. It's a Fibonacci number in terms of expansion. We, we're using price as ratio. Uh, that will come into play as well. It'll also come into play as that, you know, currently these highs here are the resistance and uh, one day there'll be uh, support. This will be support on the 34. So, but all going on track quite nicely there. And um, the next uh, product is the wheat, Chicago wheat. Now I'm just looking at this on the daily chart here. We were looking at this type of uh, ending triangle pattern here and uh, we've moved uh, further along in this now. We're sort of over at this point here. In fact, we could just probably spin that over here and we're in there somewhere. Um, there's, there is different counts here on, on this, but uh, the, the good news is that whichever way we look at it, this move here is a corrective move, um, an ABC. So that means that we can be looking at this low being taken out here. So as, as a fairly safe scenario uh, so far, we're looking for uh, five waves down uh, here, okay? Now within that, if I can go to, I wasn't sure if I was looking at a two hour chart or four hour chart, but two hour chart's good. That's where we are at the moment. So I was looking at this here is, this is a little bit difficult to read here, but I'm assuming in one way or another, this is uh, uh, wave one and two in here, somewhere in here, and then one, two, three, four, five for the third wave, a fourth wave here, and looking down for a fifth wave here, <clears throat> and then an ABC correction. Now this ABC correction may or may not come back this far. Um, we just need to assess that. So um, yeah, look, um, I'd like to go short, but I'd like also to wait for this setup to, to fall into play over here. We had this short button over trigger over here. Um, you know, if we get that, then we could get trapped in here. So I just thought that, um, you know, we should be looking for this low here uh, to be breached or get back up up here and start building the short trade, you know, in this space up here somewhere and then under here, <coughs> under here as well. So just a little bit unsure of the exact you know refinement that we should uh, play out here uh, for this and the other thing too is that you know we might feel that we've missed the boat if it actually drops down to the 80 here further than i expected um i was thinking of these lows here but you know i don't know we'll just sort of see you could take a small position like right now and then hold it through this because it could just go straight down from here as well that's the uh that's the bad news on it as well. So, but um, I think this is a way for rather than, well, you know, it could be all, it could be the situation where this is all, all of wave one here as well. It's just not clear, you know, and this could be a little wave two here, and then we could go straight down from here. I just don't know, that's all um, I can say about that at this, this stage, but you know, a small position, very small position in here, and if we get the bounce back up here, then we can look to build on this side. So that might be a way to go. I'll leave you with those thoughts anyway. The uh, corn market uh, is, is is going well now. Uh, so um, basically wave one, A and B and C for wave two here, then down for one, back for two, and then we're in the third wave here. So I'm thinking we're gonna come down to these lows a little bit further here. It's possible, uh, it's normal for, or maybe I should have drawn that in, for this trend line here to be retested here before seeing further downside uh, here. So we'll need to keep the stop out of there, but in a bit of a nutshell, we've got wave one and wave two here. We're looking down for wave three here uh, on the 
weekly chart here. We've been trading this using the weekly robo method because, well, first of all, we're looking for this low to be taken out here. So it's quite a nice trend here, you know, uh, all said and done. So wave one and wave two. So wave three, four and five or something of this nature here. Um, but as far as, um, far as uh, our method here of strategy, we um, have been basically been this is a bit expanded now so we're looking to add at um uh at, at, at these levels 389 our stop is sort of there we can bring our stop down to to this point here um we could also even look to um add again as well i'll just leave that as a bit of a um a bit of an option here depending on what what positions that you have in the market there of course so we'd be looking at uh 363 three, 366 three, three, six, yeah 362 three, or we'll just make it 362 so we're just lower you know or rather the word here that we need to really use is uh add here and uh we'll copy that so just one point under that low there whatever that is there on your machine so and uh, we can bring the stop down to that high there. I think that's pretty safe now. So that stop is, uh, that high is 382. So we can bring this, if I just copy that and make that 383. That gives us a bit of space. We can uh, bring that down into there. We can just bring that to there. I'll just put that out like that. Just nice to know where we're sort of tracked from, that's all. Um, yeah, so all good, very good, this trend. Uh, I'll just save that. And soybeans, right. Now, I'll just go back to the weekly chart here first. Um, now that's really grabbed everything there, so we don't need that. We'll just get this happening here. This is our space here. Now, uh, I think that, you know, when I look at this in Elliott Wave terms coming down from this high here, it's like we already have five waves coming down here. So it's possible to get a, a retest back up here. So what I think I'll do is, is stay with the method, copy that text, put that there, I'll just find out what that high is here. That comes in around uh, 872. Um, so I think we'll just go a little bit higher in this case and go 877 here. We'll bring that out here. One second, thanks. And um, sorry that just phone call coming in there but we're going to keep going and bring this stop down into this well I'll just put it above here where it, where it is just for the time being let's have a look at what we got here next um, I don't want to add to this but just want to protect what we've uh, we've got a little bit so just coming back to the two hour chart here now from this top here you know this market could continue to cascade down that's that's the um that's the beauty of it but um as i count at the moment we can count one and two and basically one two three four five for the third wave um the fourth wave then down for one two three four five so we're here now that could be a low but i have to say that this little pattern in here it does appear to be corrective but it's still still a little bit early. It could be up for one here, then A wave and a B wave and a C wave here. So I'm a little bit sort of unsure here. Now, um, you know, we could just take profit here, but I would expect to bounce off 850 anyway. Um, but I just see the five, these five waves here. So I'm a little bit sort of concerned about what we actually have here. And will we be retesting the 900? You know, to sort of, if we've got five waves here, will we have uh you know a decent corrective pattern 
you know, coming in at this 50, 60 percent level up here, which we don't want to. We don't want to carry that. We've gotten all the way down to here. So we've got to find some balanced ground. So if we put it at 877, the stop, um, yeah, I might have to adjust that as well. But um, let's just see what we get here. Let's just get a bit more price action and find out what we're looking at here before we make any uh, rash decisions on this one here. So I'm just going to save that for a second. We don't need that here. And uh, okay, so now the coffee. Now um, we've got ourselves a short trade here by the uh, looks of it because we, we do have a nice five wave structure here. We've got one and two and three and four and then down for five. So I'm calling this wave one and this wave two here. I'm a little bit unsure about this here, but this seems to be the best fit with one, two, three, four, and five for one and back for two, then down for one and back for two and down for three, four, and five. So we're, we are moving down with this. So um, we can short here. I'll put that in there. That will give us still quite short for wave three. I mean, basically, if this is wave one here, then then wave three is going to be, it's got to be longer than this. So I was kind of looking down at 10,000 here. So we can short here and just keep the stop above the 12,000 for the time being. You could probably even put the stop uh, uh, here as well. Just, you can just sort of view that. So it shouldn't come back up past that. Okay, so, um, but we'll just keep the stop above the 12,000, but you could have it lower if you wanted to. Um, right, so there's a new trade. I'm just going to save that as well, just to remind myself of a few things. And um, sugar, um, well, as you know, we, we're still uh, working uh, with this in terms of we, well, basically wave four and look for wave one and two and three and four and five to, to move up here higher. Um, you know, it could get a bit skewed around here, but basically that's what we're looking for. So we've got wave one and two all the way up for three. We've got this ABC for wave four. So we've got one and two and three and four and five. Um, you know, it may not go too high up here, but um, yeah, uh, sort of interested in this market once this correction here is finished. You know, because if we can identify this as being corrective, then we've got ourselves a nice long trade from here because this will be up for wave A here or wave one. I don't know. Um, we'll just have to see which way the cookie crumbles on this, but it's always better to take the conservative view first. So let's just uh, put in wave A here and uh, wave B down to here and that will give us a long trade from that point there but we do have five waves up off the low so um, we should get another five over here and that's the one that we'll be interested in so one new trade this one's still in the coffee shorting coffee and uh, this one here still got <coughs> time on this one and uh, and uh, the the grains we're looking at being short in uh, in, in wheat soybeans and corn so a uh, bit of activity here, which is nice. All right, cheers.